What's good, y'all? It's your boy Boss Music back in the house, you know what I'm saying? But I should have um, made this beat called Closer to You. Let's see. Uh, take some of these down via click. And let's see. I'm just going to go step by step on everything I did. So I'm going to start off with, let's see, I'm missing something. Maybe we can start off with this. I ain't going to need that sidebar on at all. And pretty much I started off with, actually I started off with this. I started off with this one first. This is like the um, Armaglance pad. Boss music. Let's see. And if you notice, like you'll see these three different levels. There's like velocity. So the bass, I got that down at the bottom. I did that so that way the upper sounds are freaking come through a lot clearer. That's all. And then this one, same thing. And they all, they all pretty much the same. And next, then I, I did this one second. This is like the, um, the blown bottle. It's pretty cool sounds. And like I said, different velocity levels and stuff, pretty much with volume difference, so everything can blend in together. Because if you leave them all like that and stuff, you'll hear the difference, especially in a mixer. So, and Blown Bottle, you can find that up in our Citrus. Blown Bottle is right there. And let's see. What else did I to keep this over here, though? All right, other than that, next thing I did was the Dream Pad. I pretty much copy the um I copy and paste the pad and put it in a dreamy. I only use this for like when it's coming up to like, you know, the real the real upper parts. Yeah, that, that's pretty much just like a, a pad and that combo of hits. You know, it's all in one. This one's the arts. I got to copy and paste this one too. Oh yeah, in the Dreamy, you can find that up in the um, you can find it up in your pad part in the Dreamy. Um, Dreamy should be right about in here somewhere. And let's see. Next is one. I used to um a trill art. It's something you you commonly hear in the trap beats, but. I managed to put it out here in the wise. And let's see what else I use. I think everything else is pretty much precautions. Uh crash hat. This one open hats. I ain't actually use no open hats at all, so I shouldn't even have this on here. Cause I didn't use no open hats at all. These are snaps, claps. Hi hats. These are my hi hats right here. Pretty much went along with the um the rhythm of the sound. kicks I only use like two different kicks in here this one I got turned way up I only use these kicks on certain parts though and how I be doing my kicks I simply this one right here usually I keep it straight going like this like going straight down but I put a little like this right here to catch that reflex because some kicks have reflex sound so sometimes it's good to keep it on that kick Especially if you got it going by itself without the subs. And this is how I normally do my kicks. Um, you know, to get that, that loud punch. 
something like that. I'm gonna show you how I mixed it down in a minute too. And then just a kick too. Let's see what else we got. Subs. These are subs right here. Then the next one we got. Actually, these I didn't even use. I didn't use them at all. And I kind of took them out. Like, one thing about me when I make beats and stuff, like, I make rough drops a whole bunch of stuff. And then I put it together. And then sometimes I can go a whole song. And I'd be like, oh, I don't need this. I don't need that. You know, it's pretty much like extras and stuff. So I don't be needing that stuff. And it's pretty much all I, I use. And everything I used, I made with. And let's see. The mixing, the mixing was pretty unique. And I mixed everything down. I'll give y'all a quick brief on that. Um, blown bottle, I turned the bass down right here too. And I turned the bass down here. I turned up, you know what I'm saying, a little on um, the low end or the high end, I should say. You know, I make it sound better. I put this all the way down, shrink it all the way over here to kill the bass. So that way it come through clearer. And I did the same thing with this one too. Um, did the same thing, made it come out on a high end, create more sound, kill some of that bass off. Did the same thing right here, added a sound that I to it. Um, I put a delay on there and I used a filter. Used a filter and stuff. And if you notice, like when I use a filter on the sounds, I turn down the low pass. Cause you don't need no low pass on those sounds, so you don't do that. Now you can turn your high pass all the way up along with the sounds. But when it comes to bass, you want to turn this all the way down. And then you want to turn this all the way up and keep that low pass all the way up. That's only for bass and kicks only. Sounds, turn this all the way down. Don't You don't need that. It's going to sound a lot better once you hear it. Then the same thing with this one. Fruity filter, same thing. Sound goodizer. Kill some bass in that one. This one right here, same thing. I went a little further over this way to catch a more clearer sound. Because I didn't want this, you know, it's interfering with something like this. You know, because that can crash a lot. So sometimes you want you want each sound to have their own little space and that will sound better. And let's see what else. Snaps, that was easy. Same thing, filter. Um, I put a reverb on there. I put a reverb on there. I left it all the way up too. And sound sound goodizer. And same thing with this one went all the way over went all the way over to here kill some of that bass put some more high end on there it's a lot of high end stuff on here crashes cats kicks like i'm gonna show y'all i turned this way up left the mids and i turned that high end all the way down because you don't need no high end on a kick kicks is consist of only low ends only same thing with subs and let's see you got that I killed all this, put it on there, so I wanted to fully concentrate on that kick. And the Maximus, I used, let's see, I used my own specialty. I used my own kick pump, which is located right here. I always use kick pumps on my kicks. Then I combine it with a sound goodizer, but I always put it on B, because I don't want, the, um, want that kick combined with A. Because you know A is for the sounds and B is for the bass. And... Filter, same thing. See the low pass all the way up, the high pass all the way down, resign this all the way down, band pass all the way down. Because I'm only dealing with kicks and subs, so I only need to turn this way up, turn that way up. And this one I just leave alone. Sprinkles, all that good stuff. Sound goodizer. I put a delay on the sprinkle so it lasts longer. And I use a filter to filter any more bass that's left. Uh, the only thing that's up high is high pass. I left a little bits in there, stuff like that, so it won't interfere with the sound completely. And killed the bass, turned up some high end. I did the same thing with these and stuff like that, so let's see. Well, other than that, there you have it. That's how I uh, credit uh, my B card closer to you. Um, get in that comment box. You know what I'm saying? Comment. You know what I'm saying? What you think. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Boss of Really the Dime. And all my other social media is pretty much um it's pretty much um Boss Music. That's where Instagram. 
Um, everywhere else is boss music. <laughs> I'm everywhere. So, until then, folks, take care. It's your boy, Boss Music, man. I'm out this beach. Boss Music, Boss Music, Boss Music, Boss Music, Boss Music.